Rien, a secluded island in the Far East. Lilin, an island native. Out for a morning jog? I lost my 998th fight against the old man, and for my punishment, I had to run 998 laps around the island. But I'm not giving up just because of that, so don't you dare look down on me, Lilin. I don't look down on you, Starly. I just think you're kind of sad. You take that back! You aren't getting any better because you don't pick fights you can win. Instead of fighting Grandpa over and over, you should go out, see the world, maybe take some fencing lessons. On the other hand, I bet you'd have a lot of trouble making friends. You really do need to learn how to do something other than scream and rage. We need to work on making you a real civilized person. I don't wanna. That's really too bad. I guess I have no choice but to tell Grandpa not to give you any more meat for a week. You wouldn't dare! What kind of monster holds meat hostage? All you have to do is learn how to calm your inner self. And I know just where to start. A little flower arrangement to balance your emotions. Pick some Rihanna flowers and make me a beautiful bouquet. This is exhortion, you know. Stupid Lillian, everything's all stupid. No, all right, all good. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Huh, this is actually pretty fun. If I just close my eyes and pretend these flowers are the old man. <laughs> Someday, old man. Just like this. All right. You crushed the flowers you were holding. Please start over. I was so close. I only had one flower to go! Ah! I'll destroy you all! Ja! Are you showing the big bad flowers who's boss? <sighs> Honestly, you'll never be fit to leave the island at this rate. I don't care! I don't have to leave the island! I'll just live here forever! The old man was one of the seven heroes. If I beat him, that makes me the strongest warrior in Maple World. Why would I leave when my goal is right in front of me? Stop being stubborn! <laughs> Stop fighting, kids. 10. Forgotten Hero I'm disappointed in you, Starly. I thought you were more mature than this. However, I see you're still just a baby after all. Baby? Baby? Can a huge baby use a huge honking sword like this? There she goes again. <laughs> it seems I need to keep a closer eye on you, too. Lillen, Starly, let's have a quick talk. First, Lilin, why are you training Starly? Well, there is a god of rage sealed inside of Starly's body. I thought it would be a good idea to help her rein it in a little. But she doesn't seem to care at all. Sometimes I think she wants to let the rage take over. Hey, I didn't ask to be this way. Why do I have to deal with your nonsense because of something some dusty old ancestors did? I was born this way, okay? I can't help it! You don't have to shout! You'll burst your seal. That is quite the plan you've come up with, Lilin. And Starly, why do you want to beat me so badly? I already said why. I want to be the strongest warrior in the world. I don't care about gods or seals or any of that other junk. You're supposed to be the strongest man alive. So if I beat you, then I'll be the strongest. Incredible logic. Really? Stop looking down your nose at me. We're the same age, so you don't have to be all high and mighty. If we're the same age, then why don't you act like it? You little... All right, all right. That's enough, you two. I believe you'll reach your goals much more quickly if you just work together. Come with me, both of you. We'll meet at the Red Great Sword in front of the training yard. I have much to tell you. <laughs>